Microsoft on Saturday, October 9th, are we? 8th. 8th at the uh, awesome Boston Application Security Conference. And um, tell me your name and your company. Uh, my name is uh, Francis Brown. I'm the managing partner of Stack and Loop. It's an IT security firm that helps uh, companies secure their networks and applications. And um, why did you come today to uh, speak at Microsoft? Um, I was asked uh, at the end of uh, our talk at uh, this past Black Hat this summer if I would uh, come out here and, and give the talk that we gave there um, to kind of spread the word about some of these uh, dangers and some of the tools that we're releasing to uh, help organizations defend themselves against uh, exposures via Google and Bing. Tell us the name of the tools that you talked about today. Um, it's the Diggity Suite. There's a lot of diggities involved with that. Uh, basically, it's the Google Hacking Diggity Project, um, which is a... Uh, search engine uh, hacking tools for Google, Bing, and as well as a number of other search engines, mm -hmm. uh, which include Google Diggity and Bing Diggity and Google Code Search Diggity and uh, Malware Diggity, Badu Diggity, uh, DLP Diggity, our data loss prevention tool, as well as Flash Diggity, our uh, Flash uh, security tool. And how much do these tools cost? Uh, they're all absolutely free for download and use. Free? Mm -hmm. How do you guys make any money? Um, we're a services organization, so um, we offer uh, IT security services. In your presentation just now, you showed some very serious data breaches and vulnerabilities. What are some of the um, most interesting exploits and vulnerabilities that you have discovered recently? Um, I would say things are pretty much like the Wild West right now, um, in that there's just a wealth of information that's out there that could be used in an attack or um, just there being out there as an issue in and of itself, such as a Excel spreadsheet with every single one of Yale's alumni's personal information or things of that nature. Um, I would have to say that the just um, indexing, I would say that Google and Bing are not responsible for uh, creating vulnerabilities within people's organizations, but they have uh, indexed all of them and made them easy to find for uh, attackers such as LulzSec. Um, so I would say just the raw amount of information out there that could be used to attack an, or, an organization um, that is indexed and searchable and uh, uh, ready for use for you um, is making it uh, where we're starting to see major incidents in the news every single day, um, several a week. Um, and I believe that directly contributes to that. Um, also, I think the, the probably the most scariest that uh, is starting to come out now are the, the mass uh, SQL injection uh, type of attacks where we're seeing uh, several million websites simultaneously compromised um, with their not even being the end target, uh, but rather the people who come and visit their websites are the end target, which is uh, scales exponentially. So um, these types of attacks, which are actually easier than you uh, would imagine, are leading to the most popular websites on the internet are um, serving up uh, malicious software to their people who come and visit their websites every day which will be in the hundreds of millions, if not billions of users. Uh, you just did a demonstration where you um, did uh, used your tools to dig up the private keys for clients of Amazon Web Services, um, which is a prominent service that many, many corporations use. And there's a lot of discussion about the security around cloud computing. In your demonstration, approximately how many private keys did you come up with? Um, just off of a quick, uh, it was... Uh, we had a probably about 10 to 20 uh, checks that go looking for Amazon uh, secret keys, keys in their, their secret keys, which is essentially their password. Um, and with a quick run, it was several thousand, um, which were embedded in some piece of code somewhere that no one ever thought would look at. But uh, just having that key and secret keys, like having the username and password, if you will, to just take over someone's cloud instance. Wow. Thanks very much. Thank you.